once you've assembled a rough cut in Adobe Photoshop by assembling your clips in a linear fashion, it's a good idea to add music or something else that you want to work with. Let's go ahead and adjust the audio here and get some music in to properly time things out. This is just the beginning of my edit, but you'll get the idea. To start, I went and found some music that I'm able to use legally. There's lots of stock music services available that have royalty-free type licenses where you purchase the song once, or you could take advantage of things like the Creative Commons. Here I went to dig.ccmixter.org and I typed in a search, and I told it to search for things that were free for commercial use. So when I click that, this list becomes a bit more filtered, and you see which ones I'm allowed. You can click next to something. Now, if you're only posting this for your own usage, and you're not going to use it to promote your business, you're just sharing something with the world, you might be able to take advantage of some of the non-commercial uses. But if you do make your living from photography or video, just be careful about using non-commercial samples. You can read more about Creative Commons on their site. I've already picked a file to download here. Let me just pull that down. And I will reveal that. And what I'm going to do is move that into my library. So let me take that file. I'm going to put that in the same folder as my footage, just keeping all my assets together in one folder. It makes it a lot easier for Photoshop. Back in Photoshop, you see we've got the audio track. And just like we added video in an earlier lesson, I'll click the plus symbol and navigate to the audio file. Here I'm using a track called My Hometown, and it's a great song here. You can see by Rob Walker Poet off of Creative Commons, and I'm going to open that up and add it in. Let's press the play button for a second. I'll turn the sound up on my computer so you can hear this. Well, what you're hearing there is both the sound of the video camera and the music. So let's tweak that a little bit. And what I want to do is turn the sound down. I just click the triangle at the right edge there, and I could adjust the volume for the clip and even do things like put a fade in if I'd like it to fade up more slowly. And all we're doing here is adjusting the volume of the actual clips in the timeline. There we go. And let's put a little fade on that clip so we have a fade in and a fade out slowly so the volume is a bit more gentle. Now this next clip here, we'll take a listen to that. Just sounds like a rainy night in Tokyo, so that's fine. A little bit of street noise, we'll pull that down. And you see this is really pretty fast as you make your way through the clips. You can quickly adjust their volume and tell the story that you're looking to tell. Now, I'm pretty sure that all of these will benefit from being just a little bit lower as a starting point. We can go back and refine once we have the music in place. All right, let's scroll down. I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can see things. And turn the music track back on. Well, the music has a slow fade up, so let's trim into that a bit. And we'll make it a little easier to work with. There we go. And now let's give that a shot. That's good. I want a little bit more at the front. I trim too much. Just about there. Now I want to get things to time out a bit more, so I'm going to listen to the music, and to make this a bit easier, I'm going to take advantage of using some markers. To do this, I'm going to click the menu here, and one of the things I want to do is enable both timeline shortcut keys, that's going to give me control in the timeline, and I'm going to make sure that I show my comments track. There we go. So now that makes it pretty easy as I'm working. Let's go ahead and play the music track, and when we get to a good beat, I'll add a comment marker. At right about there. And I just added a beat to make it a little bit easier to see where I want to edit to. Oh, 
That's right about there. Note you can drag that to make it easier. And this makes it simple to do things like extend a clip. And you see everything else pushes down. And I'm going to put a marker right about there. And as you're adding those markers, just click the little keyframe icon there. If you keep turning the stopwatch on and off, they'll keep resetting otherwise. But that's pretty easy. It's right there, and that makes it simple to navigate between them. There we go. And as we start to adjust those shots, you'll see everything ripples. I like that about there. Let's ripple that up. And that's one advantage of using these trimming tools. You'll see that everything pulls in nicely. Let me just lower the volume a bit. I like that. We'll pull that in there. I absolutely love that someone's taking a picture with an iPad. <laughs> For those of you that are into photography, hopefully that's not a habit that you uh, do too much. There we go. All right, so we're not done yet. We'll have some more shots in there, but we have created an initial edit that I'm pretty happy with as that times out to music. And as you saw, you can go ahead and adjust the individual volumes of clips to get the mix that you want by clicking that triangle button to the right of each clip. Now, that gives us a pretty good job here. We've got the initial sound. We've got the clips in an order. What we're going to do in our next lesson is take a look at adding transitions and titles.